Which includes, yeah. you know, Wadi, Mars, uh, MK Leo, 6WX made it to, yeah, to our event. So, you know, thank you for right. participating his, in MSM. He, uh, his flight got delayed, so he wasn't able to participate in a hard battle. But I'm glad at least he was able to come in and get the MSM in. But, I mean, we're coming right into winner's finals here. And it looks like Leo is still rocking the wolf, man. You know what? You know what? I was talking to Leo after after he won hard battle going all wolf. He said, "You know what? This is the this is the pick. I'm playing wolf until I don't have to play wolf anymore." Yeah, and I mean, like Larry got really close, but I mean, I just feel like all these other top players are getting really close, but it's just not enough. <laughs> this guy's wolf is insane, and it, it's like his day five wolf. <laughs> it, it doesn't help that wolf has like a bunch of options to, you know, help finish the plate. We saw MK Leo take a lot of stocks with dash attack. Of course, he. Really proficient in getting the, the two frames with the F tilt. Yes. And up smash is just crazy good. And boom, back air. <laughs> yeah. This character has so many kill options. Kill power is definitely his forte. And also that damage output. This, this character can just, I feel like, kind of do it all. He's very well rounded. Mm -hmm. And of course, the blaster is no joke as well. But Mars trying to chase with that F smash. Good thing he beat out that forward air. That would have been big damage for MK Leo. Yeah, and Leo getting more and more proficient with these parries again and again, but the down smash into the forward smash there, Mars gonna take the first stock. I'm, you know, I'm glad that that down smash still can convert into kills. Uh, that was a tool that uh, Zero Suit had in Smash 4 and worked really well. I'm just glad they didn't take it away. Oh yeah, and I mean, it is definitely one of her cooler, like even just aesthetically pleasing moves too. And like the whole paralyzer aspect was very awesome as well. Oh, but that sour nair into the grab, Leo just racking up so many, so much damage. And that's the thing about Wolf too, like his air, his falling aerials are so strong, and they link into grabs, which links into damage. I just feel like the whole character just threads really well together. That's right. Uh, ooh, aggressive option coming out from Mars with the side B off stage. But MK Leo gonna be able to make it back, even tag on a little bit extra damage with the blaster. Ooh, and the wait out the forward tilt, almost taking the stock there. Mars gonna get back to ledge the wall jump. I like it from Mars, even holding down on that up B. Making sure that MK Leo knew his position. <laughs> Talk about a reach, but Leo not gonna die for it. Oh, oh wait! He bounced out of the the paralyzer down smash. Yeah, maybe some kind of weird hitbox there, but uh, wow, unfortunate for Mars. But he will get back to the ledge here. What is the ledge trap? Leo just cornering him. <laughs> I like that. Just running in MK Leo's shield, making sure to see. Really test to see if he's going to push a button or not, then grabbing him when he does it. But that strong back throw from MK and Leo is going to seal out that stock. And Mars going to answer right back with the forward throw. Oh, and nice catch on the Flash Wolf there. Mars going to take it with the whip there. Oh, down smash. Ooh, almost right into the grab too. Maybe, maybe you would add an, um, uh, enough time if it was like a later percent. But may at that 0% it would be really hard to get. That's right. Looking for an air dog to try and get the kick flip, but doesn't find it. Now, MK Leo Ooh. on the hurt. The parry into the ladder? Okay, you're gonna just get an up air string. I mean, nonetheless, just amazing amount of damage there. Ooh, almost catches the directional air dodge, but Leo gonna sink right through that platform. Okay, a couple, both players just checking each other's shields, trying to get something started, but a couple jabs is gonna give uh, Mars a few damage. Okay, he's coming. Oh, nice pivot grab. Just going to kick him forward. Go for the tech chase situation. Mars, I like the repositioning with the down B. That's right. The kick flip's so scary if he does land on top oh, of somebody. Oh, 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 dude, I thought the up smash was coming. That was so swag. If that was a flow chart, that definitely would have been an up smash. But MK Leo <laughs> trying to, you know, maybe scope out uh, an air dodge from yeah, Mars because yeah. that typically would be an air dodge and just try and get the kill and end the game. But Mars not falling for it. And now we see Mars trying to recover again. Last stock, last hit situation for both of these players. I mean, Leo bleeding a little bit more, but can Mars seal out this stock? These tilts oh. are working so well for Mars. Just continue to keep MK Leo off stage, oh. but aggressive, aggressive paralyzer just putting yeah. him in just a little bit too much stun. Yeah, and right there, Mars kind of going for a normal getup or a ledge roll read there, but Leo gonna hippity hop right over with the ledge jump, get right behind Mars and hit him with that forward smash, man. That force palm is very, very strong. I even like that the just the drift back. You know, he does the lean back before he puts the whole oh, yeah. palm it's energy so in out there. It's so good. And I mean, just like your hurt, um, shifting your hurt box back. I've seen wolves like whiff punish or just like dodge attacks because of that. And then they come back in with that kill power. The auto spacing. <laughs> oh yeah. It is down throw into. Oh, probably wanted dash tag there, but nonetheless, gonna get a very good string from that falling forward air. Oh man, the right damage now. keeps coming. Yeah, right now Leo is just 
putting on a show. So much damage. And there's that Sour Nair into the grab. Tech Chase, but Mar is going to answer back. Sour Nair's from Spacey is just such a good tool. Being able to convert off that is... It, uh, honestly, it's insane. Yes. Uh, I mean, Wolf is... Oh, oh no. no he's not going to be able to make that back. Yeah, unfortunate SD right there. Maybe um, Flip Kick wanted to go back on the stage, maybe, but not too sure. But And right now, Mars is going to have to turn it up to bring this one back. He was a stock behind. But, I mean, he's got him at kill percent. He's still got him off stage. Wow. That right almost, idea. Yeah, that almost worked. Yeah, right idea. Of like just like, uh, throwing out the side beat. Especially with where the sweet spot was for the side beat. It looked like it was going to catch the uh, Firewolf. Yeah, and right there, very tricky from Mars. Going to fake out that flip kick and just bring it right back to cover that ledge jump. Good parry into down tilt, but not going to get much more for it. Yeah, Wolf has to be careful of what moves he does at zero. I mean, there there are some moves, mainly Nair, that are negative on hit at 0%, especially on fast fallers. So you mainly got to go for, like, down tilt or falling forward air to grab and so all those things. I know that... Uh Wolf can get a, a good amount of damage just from grabs that lower the percents. Because like forward throw into like dash attack. Yeah. Okay, here's the offstage situation though. Ooh, the bear. Oh, wow, the parry and the up smash not connecting. I'm actually very surprised. Yeah, it's rare that we get to see like parry into some type of offensive ability and then it not work. Yeah. Ooh, and that's what you want on these fast fallers and the turnaround up tilt as well. It's an easy 46% here for MKLeo. That's right now. Mars at 55%, the SD not looking too good. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Leo is just running with it. Okay, there's the down air, but Leo gonna oh! punish. Ooh, nice. The, the falling fair. Oh, and the up smash gonna scoop him right up, a convincing two stock. That's right, until that forward air into, into Wolf Flash. MK Leo was playing very reserved. He was going for what he could get, yeah. not overextending, not even going for anything fancy, but then he threw that fair into Wolf Flash, and that's definitely a tilting combination. Yeah, and that's like one of the crazy strengths about Wolf as a character. Um, he has the blaster. That's not his only camping tool, though. Like, he can weave in and out, kind of just like how Sheik would do it in Smash 4. He's got the air mobility to do it, so he can, you know, fade in or fade out, you know, choose exactly when he wants to commit with his falling right, aerials. Right. And then when he finally sees an opening, he can come in and just get a ton of damage off of it. So it's just a really, really good strength to have. Okay, well, we have a character switch from Mars. Zero Suit wasn't cutting it, so now he's here fighting for the rest of his friends. Bringing out Ike. Yeah, Ike. I mean, another character. Uh, funny enough, a character that Leo likes to use as well. We saw a lot of um, Ike coming out from Leo during the top eight of Genesis. That's right. It wasn't until the latter of uh, top eight that we saw a character switch. But right now, this is Mars's uh, Ike. He seems to have the, the Nair conversions unlocked. Oh, yeah, and definitely something if you're just playing Ike at a top level. The, those Nair conversions are so nasty. Falling Nair into the up air being the main one, but you can also spice it up with, like, falling Nair into up B at the edge by zero and all this other craziness. And, of course, you can't forget about the strong spacing of the back air. Oh, the parry. Oh, into another. Wow, double parry from both these players. Very on point here. What's uh, oh. going to be, of course, another back air. So strong. He didn't actually use the back air too much, so it was still pretty fresh yeah. compared to, to the up air. Yeah, and that was just a very clean ledge jump read and knew exactly when Leo wanted to do it as well. Okay. Air to F tilt, getting the easy damage. Really up here, the parry. Oh, try to get the parry into the uh, the tilt there. Not going to work out. Leo, who with the snipe with the directional air dodge. Wow. Not going to be enough. He sniped him. Yeah, like, that was just, really smart. The shot was just enough. Yeah, and right there, Mars tried to use the directional air dodge to get into position for the up B, but too little, too late. Okay, there's an air convergence here. Oh, got him on the platform, but not going to finish the tech chase. Down throw dash attack. Oh, man. Yeah, you got to... Oh, no! Oh, wait. Double? Oh, he tried to hit him with the, the, the flash wolf there to try to get that spike again. I mean, but that definitely would have been some MK Leo style. But now we got a couple nares into forward air. And a charge that flash for Mars! <laughs> wow, he got that read. So hard. <laughs> Dang, man. When you think about that, that F smash can actually cover a couple options. It's going to cover the roll, the neutral getup. It even looked like he outspaced the, the getup attack. Yeah. And, I mean, just amazing uh, selection there from Mars. And just what timing to be able to catch that normal getup with the forward smash. But the back air from Leo, not going to quite seal it out. But are we going to get the snipe with the laser? No. Yeah, just pulling the trigger a little bit earlier than usual. Going high and recovering to the other side of the stage. But now Mars finds himself on the ledge. Another forward throw for Wolf. Down throw this time. Yep, going to get that damage there. Leo just patiently waiting. And 
going to go right through him and get that back throw. Now, uh, you can't really run through your opponent, but if your opponent is like rolling or is like intangible from normal getup, that's when you can get through him. So right there, Leo abusing that, getting that pivot grab. Really showing his knowledge of this game, even though it is only a few months old. There's still so much more to learn about it. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. So, like, Leo's getting a lot of these parries, but ooh, nice reaction on the tech in place. And that's the crazy thing about Wolf. After he gets his damage, there's these little reset windows that he can get even more. And if he gets the right read on a tech chase reset, it's just, oh, man, the damage can get very, very insane. Mm, another Nair. Stop hitting Nair, but side B will connect for, for Mars. Wait a minute, though. Mars starting to rack up this damage. The up smash going to connect, but not enough to take Mars out. Just yet, Ike being a very heavy character, up to not going to get the anti-air. Yeah, it's quite surprising, uh, especially since MK Leo crossed him up. It looks like Nair actually just hit the hilt of it, but a Nair into back air. You know oh. that MK Leo's feeling the pressure. Oh man, the down air not going to connect. Ooh, nice falling up air. Can Leo finish? And yes, he does. He's going to catch that side, be the up smash, and a 3-0 on Mars. I mean, it was good on Mars, especially at the end. Yeah. You know, he was... He was throwing out the nares. He was maintaining his composure, making sure that MK Leo couldn't throw anything out overly aggressive or overextend because he would, in fact, you know, take him to the bank and take that game. Yeah, and I mean, Mars was doing a great job, like you said. That last game, we saw the comeback. It was, it was definitely a possibility, and I mean, he was one nair away from winning. If he hit a yeah. nair up.